how to customize Shopify dog team. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how to customize your Shopify team, specifically the dog team. Now let's begin. Right now we are over here at the home page. You can see the setup guide. This is what we have to do to start your store beginning. Right now we're going to go over here to the left side. We're going to click the online store. Click teams. Now as you can see here we have the team called Dawn. There's a lot of other teams in the team library. Uh, as you can see here there's a lot of free teams. Called Shopify, Refresh, Craft, Sense, Origin and many more. You can see more teams if you click this. Now you can see here all the different teams that Shopify offers. As you can see the Sahara, Portland, Taste and many more. Most of the themes are paid as you can see here but you can click on free and it will filter your items to the only free themes that you can use and customize. Now we're, go we're gonna go back over here, going up here and we're gonna click the button customize. Now here this is the editor of Shopify. This is where we can edit the different components of our website that Shopify will display. As you can see here, we have the different elements. This is an image banner. This is a heading. Below here, feature products. And many more. You can customize this bit depending on your taste. On the left side, we can see here we have the announcement bar. The header image banner which has image banner text, description, and buttons. There's also rich text, featured collections, and footer. Now we're gonna click the announcement bar. We're gonna click welcome to our store. Now we can see on the right side, we can edit the text that is being shown on our page. We're gonna change the text to welcome to copy world. We can also change the text alignment over here. We can put it to left, center, or right. We're going to have it on the right side. You can also change the color scheme of the background. You can have accent 1, which is black. We can have accent 2, which is blue. You have the first background, which is white. Background number 2, which is gray. We're going to pick, or we can have inverse, which is the inverse of the color white. I'm going to pick the accent 1 because it's the color that I like. Now we're going to click, you can add more announcement over here if you click this plus announcement. Then you have another section over here. As I said earlier, you can change the text. We're going to have, we're going to change it to, we're going to change it to YouTube tutorials. We're going to have it on the right side, the same as the earlier one. We're going to change the color scheme to background, to white background. You can delete this block by going down here and clicking remove block. This will delete the area that you have just added. Over here in the header, clicking the header, you can see over here there's a color scheme for different background. There's logo. You can edit. You can edit and enter your logo over here by clicking this. And you can see on the left side there's a logo. There's an area for the logo. You can, by clicking select image, you can upload that. You can upload the logo that you want. You can choose photos from your library, which is empty right now because I have not yet uploaded, or from the free images on this area. You can see there's staff favorites, shop locals, women's fashion, fall, men's fashion. You would just have to explore. I'm going to upload an image for now. As you can see here, our logo has been uploaded in the middle part of the page. And we're going to click X. And you can also add the... And you can also edit the desktop logo width. You can make we could make it bigger. Now over here you can change the desktop logo width. You can change it to make it smaller. Or you can make it bigger. So you can see it's gonna change. It's gonna take a while now, but I'm gonna make it to 90px for the meantime. You could also add a favicon image. You can change the color scheme of different things, the type Typography, layout, buttons, variant bills, input, product cards, collection cards, blog cards, and many more. 
and we're gonna go back here now over here in the template you can see th this button image banner this image banner is this thing that we can see here you can select an image that you want it to display we're gonna pick the logo the logo again click select you can add another image if you want if you have another you you can change the image overlay opacity. We can increase it, which makes it darker. We could lessen it, to, which makes it lighter. You can also change the banner height, the desktop content position. If you want to show container on the desktop, the desktop content alignment, color scheme, and mobile layout. Now we're gonna click the, the text image banner. We can change this text by clicking over here and we can change it to coffee rail as you can see this will change the heading on this image block you can also change the description by clicking, the clicking this or clicking here on this on the text below and clicking here we can change it drink coffee for a head for an active daily life you can change the body type to subtitle uppercase which makes it which changes here you can just, as you can see we can change it back to body as you can see this has changed now the buttons you can also edit the buttons and change the word for the button you can click here you can let's put products products and it's gonna change the word of the button the link for the button you can also change by click changing it over here it will it could send you to the collection, products, pages, blogs, blog posts, or the policies. You can add more buttons which can you can add more buttons which can make you go to the different parts of the page. And you can choose it here on the distant destination. Now let's go below here. We can see there's another block here. This is another heading. That I added earlier here you can add more heading by clicking here you can add a section if as you can see there's featured collection featured products collection list which text image with text image scanner image banner slideshows colleague collage multi-column collapsible content and many more you can see here there's a lot more there's email setup contact form, video, blog post, and many more. Right now we're gonna click, we're gonna put rich text. Rich text is the same thing as here. You can delete this block, we're gonna click here, remove block, now it's gonna remove. We can remove the section. Now it's, this is the only thing that remains. Over here, you look at the right, you can see different shortcuts if you want to undo something that you did or redo or save or toggle inspector now we're going to edit this you can by clicking this text text box you can edit the contents over here change the medium size change the types of heading make it bold italic or make it a hyperlink bullet list or whatever you want to do now down here we can see the featured products this is where our products would be displayed by clicking here you can see all these options for the featured collection. There's a heading for the name, heading size. You can change it to visual or large, as you can see over here. You can add descriptions, featured products. You can show collection description from the admin. You can also disable that. You can change the description style, subtitle, uppercase. The collection, you can change it. The number of products to show, you can increase and decrease number of columns on the desktop. Make the product full width or not. There's also view all style, color scheme that you can change. The product card, the image ratio. ratio. You can change the product card to adapt to the image or portrait or square. You can also show the vendor. You can show the product rating, enable quick add button and more things. Below here, now we're going down below, you can see this is our footer. You can add quick links, quick infos, your mission, and many more. 
as you can see it's very simple to edit and customize your page and anything that you want to do depends on your creativity after that you can click here to save your progress and then you could go back and you go and click this button view your store and you're gonna see we're waiting for it this now you're gonna see this is the current state the current look of our edited page as you can see it's a very easy way to edit and customize your team and you can customize and change different parts of your store and that's it guys thank you for watching hope you enjoy